Number nine then from paper two of the 2016 Hair Maths reformat question, getting towards the end, but this is quite a simple little question here. You recognise it straight away. You're given the derivative and you have to go back to the original one. So in other words, you're going to be integrating here. Integrating produces a constant. So you've got these conditions here that says if you put in nine, you get 40 as an answer. So the first step would be integrate that, except that that's not in the right form to be integrated. If you tried to integrate that by, for instance, integrating the top and then separately integrating the denominator, you'd get a zero out of four. Even if you then use this by putting in nine to find a constant. So the first step is get separate terms. You don't know how to deal with a quotient here. So that would be, you don't need to spell it out, but I'll spell it out. It's two X is divided by the root X and one is divided by the root X. So that means f dashed of x is actually dividing the term, subtract the powers. That's power one, that's power a half. One take away a half is x to the power a half. Plus, and that's just one times, and that's just a half, power a half underneath. So that's power negative a half. That's the first mark. Which means that f of x will be, now you could put in the integration, and then put in the answer, or you could just jump straight in with it. I think I'll just write it all out. I'll be the integral of that. I know it's a lot more writing. There's no need to do this, according to the Martin scheme. You could just do the next line from that. And there's actually two marks for integrating. For knowing to integrate and starting to integrate by doing one term, you'd get one mark. So this term here, for instance, add one to the power, integrating, lift it up, 1 on to a half is 1 and a half, that's 3 upon 2. But divide by that, but I think what I'll do is instead of dividing by 3 upon 2, I'll multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2 upon 3. This one here, add 1 to the power, negative a half plus 1 goes through 0 up to a half. Divide by a half means multiply by the reciprocal, which is 2. And don't forget, add on C. I'll just write that again neatly because that's going to come to 4 upon 3 x to the 3 upon 2, which you could have gone straight in with, plus 2 x to the power of half plus c. Now there's two marks in the integration. One was for starting off by doing one of them, and the other one was for finishing it off. Now that's three marks so far. So the last mark's just for evaluating this constant. And you put this in now. You've got, if you put in 9, the answer is 40. That will come to 40 when x is 9. So that's 4 upon 3 times 9 to the power 3 upon 2, which you could just write that way. Power 3 upon 2, or I could write out what it means. The 3 is power 3, and the 2 underneath is the square root, so it's the square root of 9 cubed, plus 2 times, and that's just the square root of 9, plus c. There's only one mark for this answer for doing all this arithmetic. So this would be square root of 9 is 3. 3 to the power 3, well there's a 3 knocking at one of them. 3 to the power 2 is 9, times 4 is 36. That's 3, 2 3's are 6, plus C, and that should all come to 40. And from that you can figure out what C is, because that's 42. So taking that across and subtracting means C is negative 2. Now you've put it back together into this line here. So what was f of x? It was 4 upon 3 x to the 3 upon 2 plus 2 x to the power of half minus 2. And if you do that, you get the last mark. If you felt fancy, but you wouldn't get any marks for this at all, you could try putting it back the way you found it. You found it with square roots and so on. So you could write 4 root x to the 3 upon 3 plus 2 root x minus 2 if you wished. But that's all you really need to do here.